say this with me now. Me? Me, I'm tired. I'm not just tired. Tired. We're in a whole panopticon. A never-ending paka power. And me, I'm writing this from a hot zone that has a lockdown that was extended for, I don't know, reasons, I guess. Nimetroka. I need you to say this with me. I need you to say this with me now. Are you ready? I am alive. I am whole. I am here. I am alive. I am whole. I am here. Care. Wash your hands with soap and water. Stay home. Get enough for yourself, but not enough to deny others. Vaccinate everyone, everywhere. Simple acts of care. But how do you wash your hands if you have no water? How do you disinfect if you have no soap? What home do you stay in if you have no home? How do you get enough? to get enough? And how can you fear a virus when hunger is closer? This wouldn't be so dangerous if we cared about care. I hate the language of war. We cannot beat a virus in a war. This is a crisis of care. How do we care for each other, for those who need it most? How do you care for yourself? How should states, systems, businesses care? I don't care how we fight. I care how we care. The first victim of the COVID-19 pandemic in Kenya was killed not by the virus, but by the police. All of this was made possible by the original pandemic. Fuck the patriarchy. Yet, Yet, so many people have cared. So many people care. Beloved, this is for you. I am Anne Mora. Beloved, this is for you. I am Alea Kasam. Beloved, this is for you. I am Laura Ekumbo, and we are the Lamb Sisterhood. As always, this is a safe space for all women and all non-binary peoples, and we are so excited that you are here with us. Today, we will be sharing love, life, and lessons from our monthly lamb letters. Our promise to you is not brevity, but it is breath. We begin with an invocation. We begin with an invocation. We begin with an invocation. We invoke the Northland's curse, written by Karwetha Kirimi and Kedolwa Waziri. As we invoke it, Kedolwa Waziri invites us to use our connections to our ancestors as a source that the state cannot cut off, control, or impose heavy tax on, to uncloak and uncover those who make breathing so hard and to gather in rage with those who dreamt of freedom 
before us in cursing the regime. This is the Northland's curse. Before we begin, we root ourselves in beauty, in sweetness, in protection. Our intention is freedom. Our intention is freedom and comfort and tenderness for the many. Homes, warm beds, warm dignity. We curse you, Northlands. We curse you in the name of all those who came before us. We curse you in the spirit of abolition, in the, in the spirit, spirit of, freedom. of freedom. We curse you. May your May soil, soil be rotten. Be rotten. May, you never never be May you never be built. May the ancestors May in the ground wreck havoc. May our words May our and words thorns like forever thorns pierce at your side. We curse you. We, curse you. we, we wish you ill. Ill. We, we take back, back our lives. Our lives. We do, we do not consent. consent. We, do we do not, not consent. consent. We, we do, do not, not consent. consent. We do not forget. We do not forget. We do not, we do forget. not forget Kamwana and Co. Kamwana and Co. May, May your, your joy, joy wilt, wilt to, ashes. to ashes. May your dreams, May dreams be haunted. We do not know peace. We do not. You take it peace. away, but here. You this. take it away, but hear this. May you. May not, you not have, have peace. peace. May peace never peace define anything, anything, you anything you touch, touch. anything you think of, anything, anything you think of, think of utter. Anything, anything you utter. If we if do, we not, have do peace, not have peace, may you not have may you peace. peace. Not, not have peace. May your, may your kanga suits choke you. choke you. May your may laughter your arrest the air rest flowing air in and out of your, in rotten, and out of your bodies. rotten bodies. May your, may your words, words gather like bile, bile in your mouth and, and poison, poison your place against you. you. Suffocate. Suffocate. Today. 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 May, may it all happen, happen. Today. today. May your may plans mock you. Mock you. We drag, we drag these curses, these curses to, your door. to your door. They enter, they enter your home. Your home. Mudamaki and, and Ko. Ko. Tanga, Tanga, Tanga and, and Ko. Ko. Hustler Hustle and, Ko. and Ko. These curses, curses are for, are for your, your homes, homes, for your bodies, for your, for bodies, your minds. For your minds. These, these curses, curses are, are for your, your soul. soul. You demolish, demolish houses in the dark. Houses in the May dark. this arrow, May find, this you arrow in light, find you in the light of day. You work, work in confusion. confusion. You use bureaucracy, bureaucracy to cloak yourself. yourself. We reveal, reveal you now. now. May these our words, words our, our tears, tears, our anger, anger uncloak you, you in the in middle, middle of the street. street. May, May you, you be left with nothing. nothing. Not, Not even, even the, air, the will air will cover you. May your, May your brown, brown animal, animal print, print shirts choke you. you. May, the, May the newspapers you conspire with suffocate you. Suffocate you. Whatever, Whatever you plant will not grow. Will not grow. Whatever, Whatever you water will dry up. Dry up. Whatever, Whatever, Whatever you, you touch will wither. Will wither. Whatever you speak, whatever you will, speak turn against will turn you. against you. Whatever you, whatever plot, you plot against the people will consume you. you. Whatever, whatever you send, send into the air, the air will come crashing, crashing down, down onto you. you. Whatever, whatever you hide in the water will drown you. Whatever you burn with fire, fire will, consume will consume you. Whatever you, you dig up in the soil, soil will, will bury you. You, you. you scum. You, you evil, evil. You, you the, the poison, poison that eats up, up this land, land. The poison, the poison that, that ails the people. people. Your, Your existence, existence is haram. Your existence is an atrocity. 
existence, your existence is a burden. Is a burden. <sighs> you tire, you tire us. us. Here. Here. Here where we say, say may these, these words, words annihilate you. you. May, may these, these words, words haunt you. Haunt may we haunt you. May we, may we haunt, haunt you. you. May we haunt you. May you. you. We declare it, we call it, we summon it. May this curse like liquid, like the blood that is spilled at your hands, seep into your bones, flood in your chests. May this curse drown your souls in eternal agony. May this curse eat you up from the inside. May it ring in your ears as the cry of the people. May our voices shout at you in your sleep. No peace, no peace, no peace. No peace, no peace, no peace. May these words invade you like you invade our lives. May they invade, invade your, your homes, homes, your thoughts, your lives, your mind. mind. May they, May invade, they invade you, finish you and finish you. Chomeke from the inside. We twist time. We beckon time. We make the future now. We create a portal. Here is where you will end. We want to thank you for being with us, for coming as you are. We love how complicated you are. The spirit knows what it needs. What do you want? I want real. Real? Real. Seeds. In a beginning, there were seeds. In one ending, we ate those seeds and washed them down with the ocean so that the jambara could grow juicy. Every new full moon nausea threatens to wash them up. Shukrana, shukhar, shukran. We whisper to those seeds as we rock back and forth. When does the night end and the morning begin? Why won't you remember our songs? And how can I forget our curses when you insist that the seeds moan as they crawl out your belly seed after seed? We look for mud underneath your nails, seeking to plant our memories. But Jambora needs earth and we have only water. This is for all of us who are trying to hold on. This is how to protect. Light a fire. Heat one tablespoon of ghee in a small sufuria. Let chalky yolk yellow turn into glassy gold translucence. I stick my nose into the small sufuria and inhale deeply. Gigor, it is Sunday morning. Mom is at the stove and I stand on the stool beside her. Into the pond of glistening ghee, we drizzle clumps of jaggery. Then with a muiko, we swish, watching liquid gold form in the pan. Mom slices the dancing puddle in half and tips it onto my plate. I watch it slither. I like mine molten and silky. My sister likes hers cracked into shards. I wait for hers to be ready. The rotli has already been fried to a crisp in the same ghee. 
we break the crackly rotli into half and then we eat together. When it is completely melted, remove from flame. Take a piece of cotton wool and twist one end between your fingers until it is pointy like a wick. Dip the pointed end into the melted ghee. Swirl it around. It will become heavier as it absorbs more. Let it rest. Take a small glass bakuli and put a few fingers of water into it. Pick up your cotton wool. The pointed end should now be yolk yellow. Light it on fire. Let it burn for a breath. Wait for the flame to turn orange like a jalebi. <laughs> it may smell like cows. Then take your glass bakuli with the water and place it over your flaming cotton wool. As fire licks glass, fine velvety soot will paint it black. Once it is evenly coated, blow out your flame and douse the cotton in water to make sure it is extinguished. Pour out the water from the bakuli. Tip the bakuli upside down. Let it cool. Have a cup of tea. Now your anjur is ready to use. Dab your finger into the soot. <sighs> Look how beautiful my fingerprint is. And place a little kala tikka somewhere on your body. Behind your ear, inside the rim of your eyes, anywhere. There. Now beauty has a blemish. They came for my grandfather one night. He didn't have to open his milky, silvery eye to see them there. Five men standing in a row over his bed. He heard them call out to him, Are you the son of Kasambai Walji Jamani? Yes, he said, I am. I am Rajabali Kasam. He didn't need to ask who they were. Come with us, they said to him. It is time. He was frightened, but with a clear voice, he said, no. I have things to do still. He did not dare look them in the eyes, those five men standing in a row over his bed. They left. Then they sent the children. Every morning between four and five, the holiest time of the day, they come, these children, holding hands, and they sing. How sweet they are. How lovely their songs. And when my grandfather says, Hello, what is your name? They giggle and disappear. And every morning over soggy Weetabix with chopped up bananas, my grandfather tells me they came again and they sang for me again. And he wonders who these children are. And he wonders whose these children are. How sweet they are. How lovely their songs. Then she came yesterday evening. He didn't need to open one milky, silvery eye to see her there. My grandmother in her black and white flowered frock in her wheelchair by the window. Dear, she said to him, it is time. Let's go home. And off they went together, Raju and Shirin, beloveds. And every morning they walk together hand in hand through the fields, stopping to plant flowers for us. For all of us to discover the next day and they sing. How sweet they are. <laughs> How lovely their songs.
Vulnerability, September 13th, 2017. In my life, God has blessed me tremendously with light and warmth and a smile that could stretch beyond the happiness my heart can hardly manifest. All these things fill me with so much joy, tear duct draining joy. But with love as large as mine for life, living and people, there is heartache just as big when all the love isn't enough because often it's not. I go through moments of intense fear of the future and pain about the past that dictates my present and limits my future. And in those moments, nothing is as true as my wet cheeks and puffy eyes. And I am certain that most people, if not all, have felt this way at some point in their lives. Check in with your friends, gently patiently. Let them be what they need to be with you, around you, safe. How are you feeling? Where do you feel it? What does it feel like? Check in with yourself. When do you go back to yourself? to honor your body, to honor your mind, to honor your soul. Usini zoe tafadhali. I am a changing, feeling, thinking, evolving, ethereal thing. My education was a lie. <laughs> I know that may seem dramatic. I promise you, it is not. My background is a co-educational British curriculum system. I used to think that gave me an upper hand, made me privileged. In many ways, it does. But, but, how do you follow your curiosity when even that's been molded to a standardized white? male, cis, heteronormative European way of thinking. I've been grappling with what the process of unlearning these foundations looks like. And to be honest, it is in every time I encounter something new, like these dogs, <laughs> realizing how everything I've learned at its core, every subject does not see me does not consider me, does not acknowledge me, a black African Kenyan girl. <laughs> I'm realizing how important that specificity is, how important the authors of my textbooks are. The fact that they were filtered through systems that prioritized empire over learning, coming to terms with that deception, accepting that my education was about the pursuit of academic excellence. And that excellence, is in the context of European imperialism. Naming is part of unlearning. Part of unlearning is following your curiosity. Your perspective is interesting. I want to dance, to be free to dance to be free, <sighs> to be. I tried writing about belonging to the earth, to a community, to narratives and stories, to a collective pain, to a collective history that gives you pain to yourself, 
to nationhood with a capital N. But, but, the power of not belonging. Belonging feels like violence, like classification that somebody else has the power to assign you. I tried writing about the things I've learned from making jewelry. Overworking wire makes it brittle, which makes it crack. Okay, so we are in a pandemic. Yeah, we are in a pandemic on top of everything else. So first of all, congratulations. You are here. It isn't an easy time and it has been a long time so far and it will continue to be a long time to come. And while we hope the end is in sight, it is so far from reach. And well, this sucks. It sucks. <sighs> Yet you yes you somehow are here and maybe you're feeling guilty thinking that you haven't done enough or finished that thing or talked enough or cared enough or been enough that there was more you could do and there's so much more to be done that beloved is nonsense huh you're tired it makes sense to be tired. You are angry. It makes sense to be angry. And you know what else? It makes sense not to feel like you. A montage. You are Carrie Bradshaw. You are that new girl in New Girl. You are the protagonist in a Meals and Boons romance. Yes, you, you are an inexplicably wealthy and joyous white woman on the come up in a coming of age romantic comedy. You know exactly who she is. When the sun sets, stare at it. You are wrapped in a loose pastel cardigan. Is it windy? No, but you wrap it tighter. Does it feel like you're in a terrible screenplay? Excellent. Night. Setting. Dim the lights. Props. A brown drink. The color is what's important, not the alcohol. You want that golden tone in the flickering light. Wear cheap eyeliner. The runnier, the better. Accoutrements. Love letters, photos, that ticket you saved, that shirt you wore, you know, anything. Anything. As long as it has memories to release. Plan it in advance. Safety first. And action. Swirl your drink like a Bond villain. And as the song starts, dance, offbeat. Laugh and laugh and laugh. And as you laugh, feel your tears. Add action. Burn that photo. Swipe things off the table and onto the floor. Trust your instincts. Laugh, cry, cry. Slide down the wall and cry. I mean it. We want melodrama. Let that mucus run down with your tears. Do not wipe it off. Viola Davis must study you and say, wow, that's how you cry. Melodrama. Wail, weep, scream, heave, cry until you are done. And cut. Vision. To see yourself is to see beauty. To see yourself is to vision. To name what you want without apology or caveat is to vision. You deserve that audacity. Cause hey, aren't you in awe of you? Aren't you distracted by you? Why not dance in front of the mirror like you cannot believe that you are real? Why not be in awe of yourself? Simple things. So this is a list of simple things that you can choose to do today. Just one. Just pick one. 
one simple thing. And I mean, it's really simple. Not our usual, oh, well, they're writers, they're artists. No, it's basic. It's simple. One, say thank you to anyone. To a greater power, to yourself, to the infinite void, I don't know, to Gali, whatever. Just say thank you. Two, say hello. Someone misses you. Three, breathe in deep and let it all out. Four, stretch mm, like a cat. Stretch every muscle. Five, play your favorite song and really listen to it. Six, drink water unless you're fasting, in which case I'll see you at sundown. Seven, Cuddle, even if it's just hugging yourself. Eight, cry. Nine, laugh. Ten, slide into that DM. Is it foolish? Yes. Reckless? Sure. Will you regret it? Probably. But we're in a Ponday replay, so why not? Eleven, also, break up with them. Yeah. Do those contradict? Sure, but 12, don't worry. It doesn't always have to make sense. Or 13, if none of these work for you, make up a thing that's just for you. It doesn't matter what, as long as it's one simple thing that gives you joy. And then, when you are done, this is the only other thing that you must do. Congratulate yourself. You've done it. You did it. Hooray! And because, guess what? You are here. You did a thing already. You came to Strictly Silk. Congratulations. We did it. Let us celebrate together. DJ! Emma, you'll cut and put your nice music back. We want to thank you for being with us, for coming as you are. We love how complicated you are. The spirit, it knows what it needs. What do you want? I want real. Real? Real.